Are you looking for a way to lighten your TARC rocket? I'm going to show you how to use this plastic transition from Apogee to make a really lightweight rocket. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble their plastic transition section. This is a vacuform transition section and the advantage of it, it is really light and it has a very smooth surface so that it reduces drag. Um, we have them in four different sizes, um, BT55 and BT60 on the small end and BT70 and BT80 on the big end. So there's four different sizes. Um, to assemble these, um, it comes with a piece of Kevlar um, and that is going to be used as the anchor point for your parachute or your shock cord on the back end. Um, so when you get it, um, pull the transition out. Um, and you want to stand it up and we're going to drill two holes in the bo bottom of the transition. And just take your hobby knife and don't plunge in really hard. Just gently put it on and start spinning until a hole starts forming. And you want the hole a little bit bigger than the diameter of the shock cord. So there's my shock cord, so I want it a little bit bigger than that. And it doesn't matter where you put the holes, I just put them on opposite sides. And you can come in from the bottom side as well, clean out the inside. It just takes the burr off of it. Okay, now your shock cord um, has to go through those holes, but you'll notice that the end is always frayed. Um, so you can take some super glue or some just regular glue. If you use regular glue, you're going to have to let it uh, dry for a little bit to harden. Super glue goes very fast. Um, I'm using water thin variety here. And when you're using water thin, just remember to wear your safety goggles. Um, once it's, um, it's hard, and it's hard almost instantly, just take your hobby knife and you can cut off that frayed part. Okay, just like that. And then you're going to take your transition and you're going to put the shock cord through it. And you want to do this before you attach the coupler. Um, the reason is um, you attach the coupler, getting down in there is a lot harder. So once you get them started, just thread them all the way through. You can reach on the inside, pull them through, get the ends together, and you can tie a knot like this, um, and then you'll pull it back through. Um, you, you'll notice that you have a very long shock cord right here. Um, if you want that shorter, um, just tie a knot further up on the shock cord like that. So now it's not so long and it's really tough. Um, I've never had one rip the plastic. Um, the plastic, as I said, is very tough. Um, now the coupler gets attached right here and this becomes the forward shoulder of the rocket. So you'll take it into your body tube and your nose cone will be on this end like that. Um, and then the bottom end will go into the bottom of the rocket and you'll have your transition. Um, well, only thing we need to do right now is to glue this up. Um, and this plastic will take almost a lot of different glues. Um, I've tried, oops, not that. I've tried Weld Bond. Um, I've tried this clear canopy glue that you'll find for uh, if you're into model airplanes. They have clear canopies very similar to these. Um, and this glue is specially formulated for that. Um, super glue also works. Um, you can use thick super glue. Um, the thing with super glue is that um, it gives off fumes and it's going to frost the inside of the, the, 
the transition. So if you don't want that, don't use super glue. You can also use epoxy. Uh, we have these little small packs of epoxy um, called Double Bubble. Um, it's pretty easy to work with. It's two parts, so there's one side and the other side. And um, to use it, I'm just kind of trying to push it all into one direction here. And then I'm just going to cut off the, the tip and then just squeeze it out. You may want to use some uh, gloves. Just get it all out, both sides. And you'll notice it has an odor. <laughs> I'm just going to get some gloves on here. Um, I, I kind of like the uh, epoxy because it's uh, very forgiving. Um, it's gap filling too, so if there's any gaps in your transition, um, it's going to fill them. So I, I do this on a piece of plastic. Mix it up really good. Now, um, if you have problems getting the coupler started in there, into the transition, what you do is you just take some um, sandpaper and just kind of round off the end so you can get it started. Kind of chamfer this edge right here so it's a little bit skinnier so that it will get started easier, just like that. And then you can smear some epoxy on there. And you can also put a little bit on the inside lip of the transition. This will show up. Um, the, the plastic is paintable, so you can paint it later if you want to cover up this epoxy. And then make sure your shut cord doesn't get caught in there. And then just slide it on like that. get this out of the way and take a paper towel and you can wipe off the, any excess Just double check to make sure that it, it's not crooked in there because that will give you a crooked rocket and you don't want that. Um, so then go ahead and let this harden um, and then you can finish the assembly of your rocket. It's pretty easy, isn't it? Now there are some options that you can do um, with this. Uh, one of them is um, if you need to have a shock cord anchor on the, on the top end, you can get a disc like this. This is called a coupler bulkhead disc. Um, it, it's a, a bulkhead. A bulkhead is a solid piece and it's a disc and it goes into a coupler. So if you're looking for one of these on the Apogee website, look for coupler bulkhead disc. We also sell tube bulkhead discs which would go into the tube but these go into the coupler so look for those. These are sold separately. Uh, another option is, this one's already been, oops, hasn't been glued up. Um, you can take the uh, shock cord right here and this can also be used as an anchor if you need um, to anchor something into the top of the rocket. Um, if you needed to put a shock cord all the way through and anchor it down in there, that becomes an anchor point. Um, it's incredibly strong, it's not going to move. Um, and if you need, oh, this one's already been glued up, um, once, once the glue hardens, this is why I wanted to show you this, is these are very strong. Um, they don't flex at all because this is glued and it doesn't allow the plastic to stretch. So once it's glued up, they're really strong and it's not going to move on you. 
if you don't like the flexibility here, you can actually put a disc in the inside, just kind of in the middle, just, just cut a disc to fit in the middle somewhere. Um, that can also be glued in and that's going to make it even stronger. It's not really needed, but some people might want to do that. Um, if you need the ejection charge to go all the way through, you can cut off the bottom end and now you have a, a pass through all the way where the ejection charge is going to go through. If the ejection charge does go through, you're going to get a little soot on the inside of this, so be prepared for that. It will clean right out with a little bit of water, but it's not typically going to affect the plastic at all. So this is the transition and how to assemble it. You get these at Apogee Components at www.apogeerockets.com. My name is Tim Van Milligan. Um, oops, I'm glued to the paper towel there. Uh, if you like this video and you like how I glue myself to things, uh, go ahead and hit the like button down there and also the subscribe button there on YouTube. Um, and then over here on the side, we have some other videos that I'm sure you're going to like. So thank you and may the winds be light and the skies be blue and may all your rockets fly straight and true.